Hi, it's Therese and I'm here for Alter New today and today we're going to be stamping and die cutting multiples. Now this is part of a focus post and the stamp set that I've got is called Heart Flowers and it's a really pretty new stamp set just in time for Valentine's Day. And what I've got here is the coordinating dies and they did actually come with a couple of little um, leaf images that were within the flowers so what I've done first is actually cut those leaves away from the die the center of the dies and left all the main flower shapes in place and attached to each other now I've laid that down in my misty tool with the cutting side down and then got the coordinating stamps laid them on top and then I've just picked it up with the misty lid so this is a really quick and easy way to be able to stamp out multiples of a flower and also die cut multiples at the same time. It's a great time saver, especially this time of year when things are hotting up and none of us have any spare time <laughs> for anything much at the moment. I'm using three different colors for my base of my flowers today. The first one was Sea Breeze. This one is Citrus Burst and the final one that will come in is Coral Berry, which is a really pretty sort of pinky red color it's quite a deep color and I'm going to end up with heaps of flowers here so I can come back in and make lots of other designs afterwards <laughs> as well I was just showing you there on the back of the pack if you're not sure which um, layers to use on which flower the the instructions or the guide is on the back of the pack but you can also find it at the online store if you click into the actual stamp set where it's for sale you'll see the attachment that has the layering guide that you can either save or print out all right the second layer of these flowers I've done exactly the same thing I've just looked at the guide on the back of the pack lined up the second layer of images and then I'm just stamping those out I'm using a ruby red and on the yellow one I did come in with the turquoise and the starlight color which probably turned out a little bit too green on some of the images because of course stamping on a color will change a color and um, but I've got so many flowers here I'm only going to use the ones that I want and still have plenty for another project so the next layer is the center of the flowers and I'm just using a permanent black to come in and stamp all of those as well. So the final couple, couple of layers, I did just decide to use my block to stamp those. Um, it was just easier. I could have used the Misty, but it was only one image, really. <laughs> it wasn't worth um, mucking around with the Misty for that. But of course, if you weren't confident in using a uh, block and stamping, a misty would work just as well. All right, so I have the coordinating die again, I'm, and I'm lining it up. And you can see I actually must have moved the one of my flowers, the one up in the top right corner. I must have moved that on the base without realizing before I picked it up with the misty so that one's kind of a goner <laughs> it didn't it didn't line up as well as I would like but that's okay I still got plenty of other flowers I just won't be able to use those ones and of course because I stamped them all out at the same time they're all the same <laughs> I'm just using my mini blossom die cutting machine I'm actually grabbing this a lot to use it because I've just kept it right in front of my workspace it's quite small doesn't take up a lot of space and um, and it's there so why not I did also stamp some of the leaves out in the olive ink and just using the die cuts to cut those out but I won't make you sit through all of this because <laughs> it does take a few minutes to do but also I just wanted to show you here that if I know I'm going to be using the coordinating dies I do leave a gap between my stamping so that I can run like three through at once rather than just one run one image through at a time now here I have the brush alpha die set and I've die cut the word hugs from some jet black cardstock and cut it again with some fun foam and I'm just using my matte medium to adhere the letters on top of the fun foam 
if you've been here before you know that this is one of my favorite tricks to do to pop up a letter especially when they're a thin letter like this it means I don't have to cut little tiny bits of um, foam or layer lots of layers lots of die cut, die cut layers this is much easier now I've got a landscape it's time to put my card together I've got a landscape side fold card and a piece of apple red cardstock that I'm going to cover the whole base with and I've also cut a white panel to pop up on the front and I'm using some score tape to hold that and the fun frame in place. I used one of the little tiny images out of the set, one of the flower centers which has three little dots and I just grabbed my ruby red ink and just stamped that across the front of the panel as well. I wasn't too particular about where I stamped it. I kind of knew which way I was going to flow my images so I I kind of floated across the same way. So now it's time to add the flowers and mostly I'm adding them directly to the panel and using my tape runner to do that. Because I've popped up the letters for the word hugs I did want to pop a couple of the flowers up just to sit at a different level and I used some just some foam squares to do that with and that's just slightly higher than the actual fun foam that I used. I just wanted to say that when I add a word like this to the front of my card once I've got all my letters and everything lined up I find it much easier to adhere the center letters first and then start working out from there. I find if I adhere the letters on the edge of the words first I either get it crooked or I misjudge the center of the panel it's much easier for me to start from the center and work out I'm just using my matte medium again there like I said this is actually a focus post at Alta New and if you head through the link below it'll take you to the blog where it will show the other two cards that I've made using this heart flower set they're really different to this card it's amazing how you can get such a different look from the same stamp set so I've got like a monochromatic one and then I've got sort of almost a retro looking one there as well so hopefully you head through to my blog or to the Alta New blog and you'll um, get to see those two cards there I did also white heat emboss a sentiment from the flower the heart flowers stamp set and I decided to pop that up on the front of the card as well so that's my finished card today thanks for joining me till next time happy paper crafting bye <music>